The next question in the C++ series is overloading OStream operator. Here in this question they have introduced us to operator overloading concept. So we'll first take a look at sample input. So here they have given us a name John Doe and register. So the format in which we have to print our output is over here. So first we have to write first name is equal to John comma last name do and then space and then register okay so we'll now take a look at the code so this is the code which is given to us by hacker rank and we are not allowed to make any changes here in this code as you can see it over here so we are not allowed to make any changes and here we have to write our code we have to do basically operator overloading okay so first they have created a class person and they have a constructor and inside that constructor they have passed parameters and they have assigned those values to the variables first name and last name and with the help of the gate function they have written the value of first name so here why they have used the gate function is because they have declared the variables as private so we will be using this uh, gate functions in our code so down they have and inside the main function they have declared variables and they have done operator overloading over here as you can see there is a red line below the sign so it is because that we have not written our code over here and they have written it with zero because the written type is int so we'll move ahead and we'll write the code so the return type of our o operator overloading will be o stream so we'll write o stream first and this is the way that so this is the way in which we overload a o stream operator so we'll write operator and after that we'll write sign operators the sign which we want to overload and inside that we want a object of type o stream so again we have to write o stream and the object will be will name that object as out and the second argument will be person and here it will be x we'll take it as x so it's capital p is capital yes So here we have used a reference variable with the help of this ampersands and here we have a reference variable of type person because with the help of this object we are going to access this gate function and inside this we have to print the statement in the format which is given over here first first name john last name is equal to do space register so for that we'll write first name okay is equal to then we have to print the first name so x dot so here we are going to use the gate function as i have told you earlier so the gate function which we are going to use first is the first name it will give us the name and plus and we have to write comma which, which is been shown over there so comma and again we have to write last name is equal to plus and x dot now we are going to access why is it not showing me the options yes last name and after that yeah that's it and we have to return this so we'll require a return statement so return out so yeah this error is gone so we'll now run the code and we'll check the output okay there is an error 
the code and we'll check the output yes it is working and now we'll check it for rest of the test cases yes it is working fine the solution for other questions in this series are available on my channel and if you have any query let me know it in comment section given below thank you guys for watching this video